today. I hope that oh, this morning, and I hope that yeah, you're all in um uh, you're all in good health. Yeah, so I've typed our topic for discussion um today, and uh, this week we've been going through uh some of our values as Morocco. And um and I just thought you know today would discuss uh maybe personal values as well. Um I know that most of the time on uh Fridays, you know, we want to keep the topics light and also just give us a chance to be able to get to know each other um a bit better. Yeah, so just as you know, like as a company we will have values or any um organization will have values. I'm very sure that even as um a person, you know, you have maybe certain values, you know, that you have, uh, values that you live by, things that you live by, you know, or if you're having any associations or friends, things that, you know, you would look for, um, you know, in them. Yeah, so we just want to talk about those core values, what those core values are to you and what those uh, core values that you live by, you know, that make you, um, that make you who you are. Yeah, so anyone can go ahead and feel free to, to share what some of their values are, one or two. Yeah. Yeah, anyone can just go ahead and share. I'm pretty sure we all have core values that we live by as our uh, personal core values. So yeah, anyone can feel free to go ahead and share. Um, yeah, so for, for me, I would say uh, my first core value is uh, to trust in God and rely totally on him because uh, basically uh, my family, they are very focused in religion and they, they, they actually just, they taught us since we were little to just trust in God for the littlest of things. So I think uh, I'm so grateful to God for where I am now. I, I don't see it as, yes, it is part of my, um, I also contributed to where I am, but uh, I think he did majority and created opportunities. So I'm so grateful to him for that. And secondly, uh, I try to be very respectful to others because I've been told that if you respect others, uh, others tend to respect you. What you give is what you get back. So uh, I try to be respectful. And I also try to be uh, understanding as well and fear. For even to my uh, little uh, nephews and nieces, whenever they have conflict or issues, I try to listen to both sides and not just uh, come to conclusions about things. So yeah, that's basically, I try to be, I try to trust in God more. I try to be respectful, expect, especially to my elders. And I try to be fair and understanding to others, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing, Jessica. Yeah, thank you. Um, someone else can go ahead and share theirs. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Happy Friday. Yeah. Yeah, it, I think about how um, values, it relates to our education and our beliefs. Um. For example, in my case, I I grew in a very religious family, and my value is relates strongly relates to God values, um, and uh, I really I can feel I really have this value in terms of religion part, and um, the fair, uh, justice and respect. This is um three kind of value which I cannot negotiate. Mm -hmm. um, there are some kind of value when we we change our environment, we sometimes have to be flexible to respect another person's value as well. 
because we don't um, have to, uh, we don't need to relate with someone else, have same value, but we have to respect. And sometimes we need to balance these two things. But if you if you have in one place, you need to negotiate or you need to sell your strong value. It makes yeah. you feel uh, very, very unwell. In my case, particularly if I am in the place which I can feel injustice or unrespectful, this is the place where I cannot stay for any money because for me, this is my strong, strong value. But there are some kind of value. Uh, you can stay in that place and you can respect another person, um, but you can still stay there. But there are some kind of value you cannot negotiate because we are in the world when some kind of value is confused, values change, but we cannot we cannot sell our value for any kind of money or any kind of ambition or any kind of job because um, I can clear see what is the mean of happiness or for the mean of life. So there are certain kind of society or community try to confuse you what is the most important in life. That's why the background education is very important for you to understand when certain kind of attitude cross the line and you should be ready to see this red flag and say, no, I cannot go to this way because this way is not the way how I can believe the happiness is. And uh, it's important for us um, to understand and uh, uh, do a little research of any company value, I'm not talking about um, work environment, um, because if you work in the wrong company with a different, completely different value, it can make, make you feel unhappy. And it, this is what you can see many people in the workplace depressed. And um, I think it's not good if you are a good job, good position, good money, but at the time you need to sleep, you cannot sleep, you cannot enjoy your family, you cannot live the, the, the life with the real meaning of life because nowadays the real meaning of life is changed. That's why this conversation about value, I think is very important. Um, frequently we take time to take note and to talk about our value, to make sure we are living accordingly to our value and uh, to make sure uh, the people don't get depressed or, or end their life because they just support things. The suicide to tell you you should do. Um, the life is more than all this pressure we come through nowadays. But if we have strong values, strong family, and the strong people around us to remember us every time, what is the meaning of life? For sure, we will say no, strong no, for any kind of situation make us be far of our values. This is my contribution for this talk. Yeah, thank you so much, Ellie. Yeah, you did mention something very important that, you know, values mm -hmm. will be a way to keep us grounded, but to always know that even with the pressures from society, that we have, yeah, personal core values. Yeah, so thank you so much for sharing. Um, yeah, anyone else can go ahead and share? Uh, good morning everyone morning. So, so for me so for me <laughs> some of my core values that, that until today i've lived by is um one of the things the very first one is um let me say yeah I'm responsible yeah i've or let me say accountability yeah anything so far that i've done in my life or whatever thing i'm doing I'll try to ensure that I hold myself accountable over it. Say, oh, okay, this thing that I'm doing, this is Noah, I'm the one doing it. And whatever, if it goes, if it goes right, then it's my it's me. If it goes wrong, it's also me. So I hold myself accountable for whatever thing I'm doing. Another thing again, um, is um I can say, okay, it's com compassion towards others. Yeah. 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 Lately I've known that. I'm very, I'm very, very compassionate when it comes to helping others. Yeah, I show that kind of sympathy, or you know, there are certain things. 
<laughs> I I will just okay. Let me say comp. Yeah, it's compassion. Another thing also. Yeah, it's compassion. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, this let me say respect. Yeah, another thing. Yeah, respect. Yeah, you know our, you know respect is reciprocal. So most of the things I'm like most of the, the time when I whenever I treat others, I try to ensure that. I treat them with respect, so because I know it's something that will reciprocate to me. So you see, and it's a core value by me. We are, which of course, irrespective of what you're doing, what even if you are, you are an elderly person, young boy or young girl, I try to show respect. And so you see, so it's this one of my, it's, it's my core value again. And another thing again, whenever, uh, whenever I do something, I've, I've, uh, I've learned that yeah. I'm very grateful for whatever thing is happening to me because most of the time I will say, Alhamdulillah, I'm grateful for everything God. So you see? So yeah, um, I can say gratitude is another core value again to me. So this is my own take on this stuff. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much now for sharing. Thank you. Um, yeah, anyone else can uh, feel free to go ahead. Morning, everyone. Morning, Um, I think one of the most important things that I really value is freedom. I uh, freedom and liber liberality is the <laughs> thing that I really uh, value, and I try my best. I can't say I live by that, but I try my best to live by freedom, and that no one can. Uh, buy my freedom and tell me what to do or what not to do and you know I don't uh, live in a really free country and there are always pressures and uh, that you can you can't do the thing that you want uh, to do and there are always uh, you are always forbidden forbid to do mm -hmm. some things and but uh, I think I I I value I, when I value freedom I I try. I really try to uh, don't um, do the things that they're told that I'm told to do, and uh, it. I think it it uh, it actually has uh, uh, take place in other other places too. In my home, in uh, my work, I don't. I don't really like someone to uh, sabotage my freedom or. Uh, Okay. Uh, it's it's really important for me. I I don't have good memories from uh, taking freedom. That's why I, it's uh, really important for me. And I was thinking that a value that is important for me in the workplace uh, is uh, the thing that I don't know what we call it, but the, yeah, you always do the right thing, and you always uh and. Uh, it's uh, I don't know honesty or integrity what what you call it but is uh mm -hmm. the commitment that yeah, that you always do the right thing that the, the, the thing that uh is uh helpful for other uh mm -hmm. people you are working with that's uh, important for me as well. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Bashir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, someone else can just go ahead and share as we wrap up. Janisha, do you want to share yours? Or Mariama, if you're here, do you want to share yours? Hi, everyone. Hi, Mariama. Hi, how are you? Doing well. Good to hear your voice. Yeah, good to see you all and welcome to everyone um, that I haven't met yet. Yeah, it's <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> it's, it's, 
It's been um, a while. We have not been seeing you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, nice to see everyone. Um, yeah. Nice to see you. And um, <clears throat> welcome to all the new interns. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to working with all of you. And, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, we are talking about uh, sorry, the, okay, the core values. Yeah, cool personal um, values. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of things I live by, but just to summarize, like everyone like, said already, um, it's just um being grateful for everything um, that mm -hmm. you have and where you are in life, and just accepting the situation for what it is, and um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so nowadays I do live by everything happens for a reason, right? So um, I don't really dwell on things not going my way. So I just accept everything for what it is and just find solutions or um, other ways around it. Um, so that that's one of the things. And another thing is respect, of course. And I give respect, so I expect to respect back as well. And um. Yeah, just looking after, you know, ourselves, being healthy and, um, yeah, we're just appreciating everything in life, for being alive. Just looking after ourselves. So that's why I will add to that. But, um, yeah, I've got my own list. And if I'm to sit here and say everything, is probably going to take us forever. Um, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing, Mariama. Yeah, I think we'll just close our meeting here for today. I'm sure everyone who's been asking me, who is Mariama? I've seen you today. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I'm back now. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll just close our meeting for Thanks. today and day in the wonderful weekend.